Hi guys, this is the Leroy Studios. Uh, you welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the live radio, how to develop a radio application. Whereby we're going to have um arrays of radio lists, no, up to four, and we'll be looking at them and how to actually create the buffer and make the radio synchronized with the uh, online uh, service uh, from the radio uh, station. So we'll be going through this uh, application. This is a robust application, a full-blown uh, application. So I would like you to follow along with me and at the same time, try to lay your hands on the source code because it is quite uh, large. All right, we'll be moving straight to our Android Studio, which is the development, of the development environment for this particular application. And I'll be explaining in details uh, some major modules concerning the live radio uh, session. All right, uh, in our Gradle scripts, uh, we have the build Gradle project session and the module session. Let's look at the module, the module Gradle. All right, in the dependencies, we have the support version 4. Okay, and also we have the files calling from the libs folder, ASC decoder that's an android jar file that's a decoder for uh live streaming okay we also have for the google admos sdk that is for the google admos if you want to include the uh the, the, the ads inside your application okay um let's look at the project session of the dependencies okay we only have for the android tools build gradle 1.5.0 that's for the class pack all right, I'll be looking at the red folder where we're going to be talking about the layout files, uh, where we have the activity main, the activity station list, that's the list of the stations, the activity web view, and the station list view. Let's look at the activity main XML. Okay. All right. It's a linear layout uh, XML with the height. They have with an ID to parent, uh, while we are then an ID called root view, calling from the context main activity. Uh, while we have a, a relative layout right inside the linear layout with the layout with an ID match parent and wrap content respectively. Okay, we have a text view uh, that followed afterwards with it. It's an ID called type to text view, uh, and also the gravity is center horizontal. And the text on it is Android Live Radio. Okay. A view follows afterwards. That's just a view, not a text view. Uh, with the width of two parents, margin left, right, 12 dBs. And the background is, uh, is a touch of gray with 5555 hash. An image view is being displayed that's calling from the drawable station default. Okay. We'll get to look at the drawable files. And also the Margin has been set appropriately with an ID called station image view for the station, uh, the particular station view, the image of the particular station. Right. The text we followed with an ID called artist text view. Okay. And the text on it is an artist. It's called artist. All right. Uh, another text view is a track text view for each track. And the text on it is the current playing track. Okay. We have another one for the album text view. That's the ID is assigned to it. And the text on it is album. Another one is the time, the particular time, you know. Okay. Text on it is empty for now. We have another one called the status text view. That's for the status. Okay. While the text on it is no connection, we have up to like five to six buttons, you know. The first button is the pause button, okay, where we have an click pause button to it, calling from the drawable button first. Another button, the play button, we have an unclick play button, calling from the drawable button play. Another button, stop button, an unclick stop button. We have the next button, where it's an unclick next button, calling from the button next variable. We have for the previous button, which is the last button, 
and we have an image view uh, that actually has the for the volume, you know, that for the volume six bar. Okay. Now it's calling from the variable icon volume. We all we get to look at those variable files. We have the six bar now, which is for the volume bar. All right. Okay. Whereby we assign uh, the above is laid is right above the play button, and it's been aligned right to the station image view. You know, just to make it sit right. We have to close with a relative layout. We have another linear layout after this relative layout. Whereby we add, which is for the add. You know, the add layout is uh, we, that's the ID for the add layout. It's actually for the add mob. We close the linear layout, and also we have to close the corresponding. Uh, parent linear layout. You can see the bottom uh, logo. Let's look at the activity station list. You know, uh, that's a relative layout. You know, and the frame layout is here since we, we will be showing either the empty view or the list view. So we have a frame layout where we're going to have the list view and also a text view, which is actually going to be visible. You know, so the, here is the view to show you if the list is empty. You know, this is actually going to list. Uh, the stations okay a relative layout follows with the progress bar while this is gonna be the visibility will be gone and the center horizontal and vertical are set to true have to close the relative layout here all right let's look at the station list item okay this is also a relative layout with an image view of id image with the content description of android type review from the string app name Okay, a text follows afterwards with the text Android Live Radio. All right. Now let's look at the values, the string. Very important. Now we have the app name called Android Live Radio, version 1.4.5. Okay. The add mob uh, ID that decides to ignore this. Uh, if you know, if you have your ad, uh, the add mob publisher ID, you can include this. I have a tutorial on how to actually uh, go through the process of. Uh, configuring your ad mob, you know, from the ad mob uh, website, and also getting uh, your ID, which is the key. You know, this is the ad mob publisher ID where you assign here. So, if you want to actually uh, sell ads on your application, we have for the last FM API key. You can get this from the last FM uh, website. I actually got the API keys. Okay, and for the Facebook ID, get your Facebook ID. And for the Twitter, you know, all right, that's fine. We have the item, you no, know, these are the radio stations, FM Absolute Star Party, the Radio Paradise, the 103 FM, the AC Plus you know, Frequency, that is Summer FM, and the Alex Jones Show. These are the five uh, stations that we'll be talking about with their corresponding stations URLs. You know, you can get, you can see them here, you know, for each one of them. Okay, all right, they are in arrays. All right, now uh, the station type is MP3 for the port. We have, for, we have AAC as well. You know, it's either MP3 or AAC. You know. So we have for the many radio, the many stations, for the Facebook. You know, these are all strings for this. They are all used in the course of the application. Let's look at the durable. Oh, we have a lot of durable here. Where we talk about the background, you know, the button next. Uh, it's an XML. Okay, let's look at some buttons active. No, when it's been disabled, when it's been clicked, and when it's been disabled for parts, okay, for previous, for stop, and the icon volume. No, we have for the menu about, we have for the menu radio, for stations, Twitter, and so on. All right, that's for the variable. You can pick up that. We'll be going to the Java source file. But we have uh, the about activity, the base activity, the drawable list adapter, the Facebook activity, the last FM cover, the main activity, the PLS parser, the radio metadata, the radio service, station list, Twitter activity, and web view activity. We'll be looking at just two of these activities. No, I won't be able to go through all this. We will look at the main activity, which extends the base activity, and imported some stuff, a lot of stuff here. The broadcast receiver, the component name, the service connection, configuration, um, the audio manager, telephone manager, the phone state listener, and even the ad size and for the uh, ad mob. 
now we created a list of you um, uh, fields. Look at them, quite lengthy. You know, this is a list of fields created for play button, pause button, stop button, next button, previous text view, track text view, time text, um, telephony manager, radio service, and so on. Now the on create method is set to the layout activity main. You know, we're going to bind to the service. We're going to bind an intent, the new intent, calling the radio service dot class. That's the next video uh, class we'll be talking about. Okay, we we'll bind this intent with a radio connection, and also bind auto create. That's all that there's this reason to catch for an exception. All right. Now we have the telephony manager. Also try to get the system service. If the telephony manager is not known. Going to listen to the false state listener. You understand? Okay. Now for the on configuration change, calling the super on configuration change. Now to try in a new statement here. If the new config orientation is equal to configuration orientation portrait or is equal to the configuration orientation landscape. You no. Know, the tribe is going to be run where it's going to call on the activity main. Go to handle the post by initializing it and the radio services. You're gonna get the total station number, you know, less than if it's less than or equals to one, you know. So it's, we're going to have so that's why we're going to initially set the next button, you know, being enabled. So it's going to actually take us to the next button and also to the previous button and set the visibility appropriately. Now I'm going to update the status that's going to be an update status uh, method. And also the update metadata method and the update album method. Let's look at the initialize method. Okay, this is where we're going to do a lot of initialization. We're going to initialize the play button, the pause button, the start button, calling this corresponding ID, the previous button, the pause button. A lot of uh, initialization here. The text, I uh, have the title text view. Okay, and also the volume. All right. Now we're going to set the volume control based on the volume, the ID volume bar. We're going to set the maximum volume, and there's going to be a progress to based on the current volume. You understand? So also we're going to set the on six pack change list now. Okay, that's fine. Let's look at the on key down method, uh, where we're going to get the volume control, either the volume up or the volume down. Okay, this is actually controlling the volume. The display ad for ad maps. Okay, I'm skipping that. Uh, we have on click but play button. What's going to happen? The radio service is going to call on the play method. And on pause button, it's going to call on the pause method. On click stop method, what's going to happen? The radio service is going to call on stop method. Okay. On click next button, what's going to happen? The reset metadata method will be called. And also the play next station method will be called. And the update default cover image also will be called. The same thing goes for the on click previous button as for the next and for the previous. Okay. Now the update default cover image that was called, you know, earlier in the on, on click previous button and the on click next button. So what's this cover image gonna do? Now it's is a try try uh try method calling the M variable station, concatenating it with the radio service Getting the current station ID. Okay, you have to get the ID by adding one to it. You know, that's where you get the result, get this identifier from this variable, and also get the package name. Alright, that's fine. So if the rest ID is greater than one, greater than zero, rather, you're gonna set the image result based on the rest ID. The same to go for the else. Alright. Now the update album, we we'll also call that uh in the click of the next button. Now the radio service is gonna get the album. Going to get the artist, going to get the track, and also get the album cover. Set it appropriately based on the if statement here. If the album cover is not, or the artist is empty, or the track equals empty, you know, you update the default cover image else. You set the image bitmap appropriately. You set the album, right? You have the update metadata. What's that doing? Uh, it's going to call the read. Get artist and the get track. Now, if the artist length is greater than 30, it's going to set.
set to the text based on the artist's name and the track and also the album text view. All right, we just reset the metadata. We've got the same process. We have on destroy, you know, when uh, you call on super destroy, the radio services is not equal to no. And this is when it's going to stop the service based on the radio service uh, Java class. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's look at the radio service uh, class. Okay, that's quite lengthy as well. When we implement the on error listener, okay, we have a lot of fields here the more created, the more destroyed, prepared, stopped, the buffering state. Start rather, it's got a buffering end and the connecting, the play, the pause, the stop. I'd like you to lay your hands on the soft code, you know, it's quite uh, embedded. All right, that's the create method where we're going to call the app name, the last FM API key, call it from the string last FM API. You know, this is where the, the lot of buffering and connection is being done, where the call is actually being made. This is the real service of the radio, uh, uh, of the radio application. Now there's a thread, look at this thread, where there is a for loop with a counter integer of i, calling the station URL's length and adding one to the counter. So after, if this has been uh, done, it has just been an array list, you know. Where the multi track, multi URL track is going to be called from the counter. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial and for the length of these uh, classes to cover, I would like to upload the source code to GitHub so that you can pick it up from there, use it in the course of your application. This is a full blown uh, radio, live radio. Uh, application even if you need to add more radio stations you can just come to your strings here add more items here and initialize it appropriately but you have to really understand how the code flows before you can really do that configuration now i'm going to run this on the emulator let's see how it sits let's say it's been displayed uh so that you're going to actually see the beauty of this uh, radio application all right look at it that's fine it's very, very beautiful. Okay, I'm trying, trying to exp expand this. Uh, all right, yeah, for the radio paradise. All right, sorry. Okay, and let me click my next. Okay, this for the Z103 FM. All right, and this forward. Uh, this for the Z1 of uh, the Alex Jones show. Okay. That's fine. This also the Alex Jones show, the top 40. This for the Radio Paradise. Okay, I've, I've clicked twice. Let's go back. Okay. Now you need to, if you want to play this, you, play, you click on your play. You get your buffer in here. So this goes actually buffer. They are trying to call the corresponding. Uh, radio service you know and uh, it's going to actually sound from the mic or from the headphone that you might have collected to your device you know i would like you to test this on a real device anyway thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout the session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye